Okay. We're in my super nice cottage in Fort Worth, Texas. Like, it's a really nice cottage. Really nice. I'm mostly just gonna take pictures that are online and share them with you there. Because this is silly. But still. Very cool. Exactly. Let's make a wish that it's a safe trip. And uh, I'm out of here. I should beat most traffic being that I'm leaving at 4.45 in the morning. I don't know. I may be wrong. I'm seeing a fartload of traffic at 4.48 in the morning. A lot of traffic at 5 in the morning, apparently. Oh, come on. Don't be... We better not be stopping getting out of Dallas. Jesus H. Christ. I swear to God. I can't believe this. I can't believe I didn't leave early enough. They must be doing traffic or something. Must be doing lane signings. Keep left to stay on I-20 East. Dude, if you think you get in front of us with that trailer, you're sadly mistaken. Oh, well, he thinks he is. I totally understand why there's shooting sprees on highways. Hey. We've been sitting here for 20 minutes. I've gone a mile. This was never this bad in San Diego. Jesus, I finally got out of that hellhole. I wasn't even supposed to be in that lane. I could have been out of there so much earlier. This is all the garbage they're doing. In a quarter mile, slight right onto I-20 frontage road, west I-20. But how can they fucking, like, Jesus Christ, how do they block off the whole fucking freeway? How do they not have one lane open at least? Fucking insanity! I was this close to committing murder. I promised my wife I'd take it easy, but I'm already like 40 minutes behind schedule. Not that I have a schedule, but it's just like, come on, man. It's what happens when you let too many people move into an area before you've actually created the infrastructure for people to do so. I have become much too accustomed to living in the country, but I digress. Let's, let's put some miles on our belt. I don't think I've actually ever been to a Bucky's before. All right, we ought to be about 10 miles or less from the Louisiana border. I think I'm gonna try to hit the, hit the rest stop when we get in there and see if I can't catch, catch a half hour of Z's or something. I'm having a rough go of it. Another reason I don't like driving like this. I get too tired. I don't like driving anymore. I get tired after a couple of hours. Three hours and 40 minutes to go to my destination. So I'm about a little bit less than halfway. I got one of the big ass Celsius's into me. At least 200 milligrams of caffeine. I got an extra large coffee from Bucky's. And now I'm working on an extra large coffee from QuickTime. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to catch any of these. I'm putting so much caffeine into me. Yeah, that looks like a Welcome to Louisiana sign right there. Oh yeah, I got the little Saint symbol. How you doing? Welcome dawn? to Louisiana. You welcome to Louisiana. Bienvenue en Louisiana. Yeah. Look at that big old son of a gun. That is one massive crane. Oh, we're gonna be going into Mississippi. We're gonna be going into Mississippi, Mississippi, yeah. In my Mississippi, in my Mississippi, in my Mississippi, in my Mississippi, 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 yeah. I apologize. I would really like to not be behind the truck on the bridge so I can get a good view, but I guess I ain't no choice. Go fuck yourself, semi. Love 
this bridge, I love this bridge, I love this bridge, and welcome love this to bridge. Mississippi. Should I stop at the Welcome Center? Stretch my Legos? Take the Warrington Road ramp, then turn left onto Warrington Road. Sheets and squaggles. Downtown Vicksburg. Turn Casinos. left onto Warrington Road. Welcome Center, left lane. In a quarter mile, make a U-turn. Ooh, neat. It's on the fucking river. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Come in here and say hi to the Welcome Center real quick. That's my transit van. Navy Circle, I wonder what that is. I kind of want to go up there. In 600 feet, turn right onto I-20 Frontage Road, Old US 80 West. Welcome to Mississippi. Birthplace of America's music. Okay, you say so. It's African Americans that did it, so why don't you note that? <laughs> well, I've rented about 15 Airbnbs or so, and uh, yeah, I always spend a lot of time making sure it's a good one. Read all the reviews, everything, everything, but because of this schedule with my mom being sick and me extending my stay, I didn't, uh, I didn't do as much research this time, and I am not staying here. Like, it's not a bad house, but it's not a great house. I have no interest in staying here. Thank you very much. I'm still seven hours from home. It's going to be hard to make it home. But even if I got to pull over and sleep at a rest stop and get a hotel, whatever, that's another 140 bucks I just missed out on, but I am not staying there. So I'm taking back roads and taking to going to Selma, Alabama first. But to start caffeining up. 3.45, I'm gonna lose an hour. It's technically 4.48, not technically, it is 4.45 in Georgia, so I won't get home till midnight if I go straight through. Continue oh, God. Drive south for four miles. That's great. It's totally stopped traffic. That's great. Sucks. Oh yeah, oh there's a fucking FedEx truck completely jackknife on the freeway. Two oh yeah, it's a fucking it's a double runner. Yeah. He's he's yeah, he's literally his his his, his, the, his cab is touching his fucking, the back cab. The dog tail. He's literally completely spun around. Let's fucking go, dude. Come on! What are we fucking doing here? Fucking idiots. Get the fuck out of the way, people. Jesus fucking Christ. Why are we doing 20? Idiots. They're going to cause more wrecks. Too goddamn slow. Use the right two lanes to take exit 94 for I-20 East toward Meridian. This is horrible. Thank God it's only 11 miles, then I get off.
This idiot doesn't even have his fucking lights on. Fucking marathon drive. Can't believe I gotta do a marathon run. Here's my story inside the truth. My pain and my struggle, the song that I sing to you is my everything. I can't believe I sat in that goddamn driveway for over an hour for a piece of garbage house. I should have just opened the door and gone in and seen I didn't want it and just canceled the reservation, maybe got my cleaning fee back and then just at least save 40 bucks or whatever. Like, just be honest, man. Like, why are you charging 130? Like, that house ought to be 60 bucks. I wouldn't have been mad for leaving at 60 bucks, and I might have even stayed for 60 bucks, but, well, no, I never would have rented it for 60 bucks, but there's no way it f that thing was worth $140. Floor literally coming apart from the cabinets in the bathroom. Insane. Lost an hour. I could have already been an hour further down the road. Son of a gun. Yeah, that was a Mississippi Highway Patrol of the place. I saw the state symbol, so maybe that's the last one. 2.4 miles, exit one. Yeah, that's probably Alabama. One for US 80 East toward Cuba, Demopolis. Two miles takes exit one towards Cuba, Demopolis. Yeah, rest area, one mile. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pull over, try to get some sleep. Alabama Welcome Center, one mile, yeah. Sweet home Alabama in about Welcome to Alabama. Welcome to Alabama. In three quarters of a mile, take exit one for US 80 East toward okay. Cuba, Demopolis. Okay, Alabama Welcome Center, here I come. Oh, it's nice, sun's going down too, maybe I'll get some sleep. Maybe I'll be able to sleep a little bit. Oh, I really hope so. Well, I couldn't make it. It's uh, it's Thursday, yesterday was Wednesday, obviously. Um, I had three and a half hours left in the road trip and I, I had to I had to stop in Selma, Alabama. Instead of Holiday Inn Express, I was just, I was not gonna be able to make it. Like I kept on thinking I could and I kept on telling myself I could. And as soon as I got to town, I was like, nope, hotel town. Still only slept like six hours, went to bed at like 9.30, was up at like three, tossed and turned. I mean, I woke up several times, but I tossed and turned till four. And then uh, went ahead and got up hit the road it's 542 right now but yeah still a fucking miserable so goddamn tired of driving probably really glad i actually didn't take the fucking motorcycle not sure i ever want to do cross-country trips on a motorcycle probably why i was so nervous about doing it because i probably knew it was a bad idea two hours and ten minutes i cannot wait to get home i'm just so over this trip i think if it hadn't been such an emotionally draining trip and uh so yeah it's been a rough week so that's probably, that's probably uh, beating me up a little bit more than I otherwise would have been on just an actual vacation. You know, this wasn't a vacation, it was a, it was a mission. I do really like that tanker truck. I really, really like how the whole thing is LED in the back. That is super cool. They should all be that way. Oh, I'm glad the sun's coming up. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll wake up a little bit with the bright of the sun. My road trips as a kid, I would always drive at night and I always played hell finding a hotel ready to go home and sleep for a week and I don't think I'm doing road trips again outside of a few hours unless we have a an RV or a transit van with a bed or something because I just want to be able to pull over and sleep when I want to without having to spend 170 bucks on a hotel I do believe I'll be getting into Georgia pretty quick this route avoids road closures on LaGrange Street you are on the fastest route you should reach your destination by 7.48 a.m. Welcome to Georgia. Welcome to Georgia. Oh. Callaway Gardens, next right. That's where we're going for Christmas. Mm -hmm. 